What's up you guys? It's Adana. I'm going to be talking to you guys about two must-have books that you have to have if you're in PA school that will help you retain all of the knowledge that you're getting. I have found two amazing books that have helped me so far in my seven weeks in PA school. If you are in PA school and don't have these books yet or you're in your rotations and you don't have these books or you're thinking about applying to PA school or you've applied to PA school and you're you know expecting that you're gonna get in, I highly suggest that you guys invest in these books immediately. Um, the both of them is under a hundred dollars so very, 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 very inexpensive for the quality of material that you are about to receive. Now, the first book is this book, Pants Prep Pearls. It is by Mr. Dwayne A. Williams. Oh my gosh, guys, this is this has been a lifesaver for me in my med practice class. Um, that's the class where we learn about all of the probable diseases that we're ever going to see um, in our patient population. And this book just makes it so easy. It tells you the name of the bacterium or if there is a bacterium that is infecting uh, your patient, what the name of the bacterium is, what the clinical presentation is, it, it, but it gives you all these little pearls, you know, like just kind of buzzwords on what you will see on the pants, which is our certification test, as well as just in the clinic. So. Let's say like, you know, you have this baby that comes in with a weak cry, which is like the, <laughs> sorry, did you like my weak cry? <laughs> but it's like a weak cry, there's flaccid paralysis, then what you're going to see, what your mind is going to go to is botulism. And that's in here. It has weakness, flaccid paralysis, respiratory arrest. That is your, your clinical presentation. It tells you what to avoid or where you would get it in. So let's say you're doing your HPI, which is your history of the present illness. You're going to ask them things like, oh, you know, uh, do you can? Do, does somebody in your family can? Has the baby eat some canned food lately? Because then that will point you towards the fact that maybe something was not properly canned and this clostridium botulum got into it and infected it and now your baby has botulism and then it tells you how to treat it oh my goodness this book is amazing it talks about giving them antitoxins you know you have to be aware that it is an equine de derived antitoxin so let's say um, I don't know if people are, but I'm sure some people might be allergic to horses. Um, you can't give them this particular antitoxin. So it talks about all of that. It's amazing, you guys. It has been a lifesaver. I am going through it right now for my derm um, diseases and infections and these pearls. Great. The greatest thing ever. Get this book, Dwayne A. Williams, Pants Prep Pearls. It's the best thing. This is the second edition. This all white book is the second edition. He does have the first edition, which is blue and yellow. It's pretty much the same book. Just a few things have been added. Um, so you're not getting shorted either way, you know. And then this second book. This is a certification and recertification examinations for PAs. Now this book is by Claire Bab Babcock O'Connell. Um, guys, once you've learned what you had to learn in your, I don't know what your your class is called, but it's mine is medical practice, whatever class you're learning about all of these different diseases in, once you've learned what you've had to learn in that class and you've gone through pants and you've kind of committed to memory all of the different pearls, this is where you could test yourself before you actually take the test. Um, it has quite a few comprehensive exams that you can take. I don't know if you guys can see any of these, but it has exams that you can test yourself with, you know, learning about neoplasms. Let's say if you learned about a neoplasm, now you're going to go to that section in the book and test yourself on it and see where you're at what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are. And that has really, really helped me. It's amazing how much you don't realize how much you've learned. You know, like you think that you're, I'm still, I'm only seven weeks in, I'm just a PA student, but I've learned so much and I have so much knowledge and that's because of these books and of course, you know, everything that I'm learning in school, but these books help me actually commit it to memory in a shortened way. So if you don't have them already, Pants Prep Pearls and Certification and Recertification Examinations for PAs. And look at what I found! This is from my um, endocrinology uh, module. I don't know if you can see it, but that's about um, 
the parathyroid. I, I like flow charts. So this was my flow chart about what happens when the parathyroid is stimulated and um, what happens to parathyroid hormone and how it goes through the body and talks to the bones and the kidneys and the gut. Oh gosh, this, just a little geeking out, a little, a little nerd stuff for you. <laughs> but you'll learn it if you haven't already um, once you get into PA school and um, if you've already gone through PA school or you're currently in PA school and you've already did done your endocrinology module, you know what I'm talking about. Gotcha. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, that was my seventh week of PA school. Join me again next week for my eighth week of PA school. I will let you guys know how my test tomorrow goes. I'm going to be pantsing it up. <laughs> I'm going to be going through that book, making sure that I know all of my dermatological disorders like erysipelas. That is um, always similar to cellulitis, but caused by a very, like a different bacteria and highly demarcated borders. Yeah, just something that I learned. <laughs> I'll let you guys know about that next week, um, how I did. Thank you guys again so much for supporting me. I really, really, really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, go check out my GoFundMe page. Help keep me in PA school. I'll leave that in the description box below. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you really like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Join this journey with me. I will see you guys next week. Talk to you later. Bye.